heard that it's a cult. I heard that a bunch of drug dealers used to own the house. These are the untold stories of 448 Howard's Knob Road. It was a dead Saturday night, and me and two friends were heading up towards Howard's Knob because we had nothing else to do, and we passed that house, and I said that I'd heard something about it, like that a few people that I know had been in there, and that it was kind of, it was like abandoned and it was creepy. So they're like, let's go in. So we decided to go in. I was kind of creeped out about it, but I mustered up my courage. We climbed through the window. I got the last person to go in. So apparently there's holes in the floor, and I stepped in one of the holes and fell one story onto my butt. They said that I was silent for like a few milliseconds maybe, but it was enough for them to freak out and think that I died or something. I was completely like shaken, but I wasn't hurt. So I yelled at them, I was like, guys, find some stairs, cause I need to get out of here. And they were frantically searching for stairs for at least three minutes. And I was down in the middle of the basement trying to not touch anything and I was freaked out and um, so they were like there's no stairs we can't find any stairs so I turn around and there's an open window I climb out the window and went back up. It was really sketchy and just scary knowing what might have been going on in that house. We went twice in one day actually, one time in the morning and later in the afternoon. Uh, and things had like, the lights were on in the morning and then they were off in the afternoon. There is a room, uh, they have an elevator, or two elevators in the house with me. And one of them goes down to a room with a hot tub and a bar. And you can only get inside there from the elevator. And that was just really weird to have that. And like the elevator was in a different spot every time we went there. Uh, it's just really, really scary to go there and sketchy because it's an abandoned house and you don't know what's going to be there. It was about this time last year, so spring uh, 2011, and me and my boyfriend and a couple of our friends, we were at the Howard's Knob and we were like, you know what, no one's around, it's like 5 o'clock in the afternoon. You know, let's go check it out. One of the windows was open, um, so we scaled the wall, went in the open window, and went inside. And um, it's completely empty. Um, it's kind of freaky because the sun was setting, and there's some weird shadows. The fridge was in the middle of the floor, kind of odd. Um, he was walking around, noticed the hot tub in the living room, all that stuff. And um, we, uh, went downstairs and there was this giant mirror um, down one of the hallways and each time one of us looked down it we all screamed we thought it was a person we could have sworn it was a person we were very creeped out and um, and then we took some souvenirs back with us some pieces of the chandelier to remember our adventure my piano teacher he's this crazy Russian guy and he um, I was talking to him about the house because his piano studio, you can see it, it overlooks Howard's Knob. He's like, actually, uh, it used to be my friend's house. Um, he, uh, it's actually a religious symbol, um, and it doesn't symbolize anything about, uh, you know, cults or any of that at all. It's just, it's a religious symbol, and basically he ran out of money, and he couldn't keep up with his house anymore, apparently. So he had to move, and he just abandoned it. So he said, I don't think he keeps up talking to this guy anymore. He kind of stopped talking about it after that. So I think there's still some more mystery that I haven't figured out yet.
Okay, well this is going back to freshman year. I don't go up there anymore. It's one of those things you don't do when you get older. Anyway. Um, but it was me and my friends, and it was nighttime, and we had heard, of course, all the different rumors, and we're like, man, oh man, let's go up there. That'd be super cool, and, like scary, and like, oh. We used to call them adventures. Like, let's go on an adventure. And it was really stupid of us, because most of the time they were stuff that we could have gotten in a lot of trouble for. Just like going to that house, which at the time, I believe, I found out later, was privately owned. Um, there might have been a no trespassing sign. Probably. Yeah, probably. Um, we, we get there, and there's no car in the driveway. So we're like, <laughs> there's nobody here, cool. So we're like, you know, stalking around. We parked a little bit down the street. And uh, we, we start making our way around the house. We go to the front door. We notice that there is an infrared camera that looks and we're like, oh crap! And we had worn hoods, but we were still worried. We're like, oh no, we're gonna get found out. They're gonna put us our faces up on the campus and we're gonna get in huge trouble. No, no, I don't know why they have an infrared camera for whatever purpose they have it. But we, uh, we, were, we, were, we were stalking around the, the outside of the house. We noticed that there was no furniture inside, which was weird. But um, we got around to the back side, and all of a sudden we see a dude inside with like a beer or a drink or something. We're like, oh, oh crap! Um, <laughs> and so we like get down low, and we're like, all right, well, we gotta get back to the car. And then we just kind of skulk our way back to the car as quietly as we can. We ended up actually in his neighbor's yard because we tried to come up on the road and all of a sudden there's a fence and we're like, where are we? And, um, yeah. And uh, the other times I've been there, it's been daytime. And one time the door was open, but none of us had the guts to go in um, or even knock on the door. Have you seen a horror movie recently? That is how that starts. People disappear when you do that. You know, even if this guy just like closed the door behind you and he's like, what are you doing in my house? That's obviously not a good thing either. And then you gotta like jump off the back porch. Um, so yeah, I, I stay away from it, honestly. I think it's creepy. It's a black house with a red dot on it. Whatever the business is going on there, mm -hmm. nope.